What's up guys, Matt and Blake from footballboots.co.uk and today we're going to be looking at the Air Max day from Nike but we're going to be talking about what happens if you put your Air Max trainers on football boots. Now I interestingly had this idea, I texted Blake about two weeks ago, so mm -hmm. Nike if you've tapped into my phone somehow I'm not happy but this was our idea first but let's see what happens if you mix trainers with football boots. So this guys is the Air Max pack for football boots launched maybe three days ago and this is the Hyvidum, this is the Silver Bullet Magista, the Superfly and the Air Max One Tempo Legend 6. So what is this video all about? It's all about making trainers into football boots. So this is the Air Max 2017 into a football boot. Yeah, exactly right. So this is the latest of their Air Max trainers. They're 2017. We've just seen a Vapor Max, but in terms of just an Air Max, yep. this is their 2017. And as we can see, it's got that knitting material on top, but we've given it a football boot sole plate. So this, guys, here, this is the Air Max 2017. We took the upper of the Air Max 2017 and we put a sole plate, the Magista sole plate, onto the boot. So our first one we'll talk about is the Air Max 2015. So this is a stunning colorway. Our first one we'll talk about is the Hyvidum. So yes, we've made it into the Air Max 2015 design, Eddie. Yeah, so the Air Max 2015 is one of my favorite trainers. I think it is so good, that massive Air Max bubble on the bottom. I love it so much, but what we've done is we've taken that colorway, put it onto the Hyvidum Phantom 3, and I think it looks so good. I really like that design on the back. Yes, so a feature of the Air Max 2015 is the gradient sole plates. We've got blue on the forefoot and orange at the back, as well as that orange on the back of the upper there. White Nike swoosh, black upper, really, really stunning boots. The next one is the Superfly, pretty much the same design with that chrome sole plate. As you said, it's all about that gradient effect on the Air Max trainers, especially on the 2015, 16 and 17. That's yes. what they're all about. Yes. We've got another one to show you in a bit. This is one of the colorways, but I think the actual 2015 Air Max train was gorgeous in that kind of two, three colorway design. Exactly. And this is the last design, the Timber Legend 6. Nothing too, sim nothing too different here. We've just got the white Nike swoosh, black, orange and blue standard there. Now this is something special. So this is the trainer actually made into a football boot. So the sole plate itself, I think, is off the Obra 2. We put it onto the trainer. Would you wear it? Yeah, I probably would wear it, to be fair. And it's all about those exposed flywire cables. That's where it really all started. Nike yes. built on their basketball trainers a little bit. Yep. They put it onto their just sneakers, and now we've put it onto the football boot. A little bit similar to the Hyvenum 3DF, yes. with those external lacing boots there, but we've given it across that whole side panel. So it's flying it. must be really, really lightweight, but the toe box there, it's, it's probably a bit too thin, but overall, I think it's a stunning design to start off this video. Now on to this, this is your baby isn't it? Yeah, so this is the Air Max Plus in the swimming pool colorway. There was two colorways in this. This was the lighter tone. There's right. also a darker tone, but the Air Max Plus, or some people call it the TN, are one of my favorite pairs of trainers of all time. And I love that it actually looks like a swimming pool graphic. So this is that design onto the Hyman Phantom 3. I think this is pretty stunning. I mean, I definitely would wear it. White sole plate and white swoosh with it swimming pool design. Yeah, I think it's class. I know Nike do like to experiment with their grading designs, but yep. why not put an actual graphic, like a swimming pool graphic on there, because I think it looks so good. Mm -hmm. Now this is the Magista Obra, pretty much exactly the same white Nike Swoosh white sole plate with that gradient design. Really, really nice. And on the Tempo Legend 6, again, I just nice think they look stuff. so, so good. Seriously, these are just such nice looking boots. With that white with the blue, I think they're very tonal. Yep. If you wear these, it's coming into spring. I think these are perfect for pictures coming up. Yeah, so the Nike swoosh on the trainer itself is actually sort of, it's actually got that same swimming pool effect. And you can see on the Vapor here, we've given that swimming pool effect onto the swoosh itself. Now this is the trainer made into a football boot. So this is the Vapor 11 or Superfly sole plate onto the trainer. Yeah, so this has got a slightly darker tone onto that upper. So oh, this is the alternative. Boy. Yeah, this is the darker blue version of it. But as we can see, it's still got that swimming pool graphic on there. Yep. You can just see the Air Max Plus design as well. Oh, those right. wavy kind yes. of designs. And it works really well with the swimming pool. But I think as a football boot, I think these are class again. Again, you see the Nike swoosh. It's actually sort of made so to match the pattern there with the swimming pool. Pretty, pretty nice. Now on to the Air Max 90 holographic. Yeah, so these were so bold. So this is how they look when they're struck by light. Yep. They do become holographic. This isn't how they look just on their day to day. Right. But when they're hit by light, you can just see that kind of pearlescent iridescent effect going on. Very unique. Very bold. Yeah. Now this is the design on the Hyman Phantom 3. We've made uh, the Nike swoosh actually into the center of the boot. We've actually sort of gave that holographic effect to the back of the Nike swoosh there. Overall, Maddie, what do you like? So these would actually be a really good colorway for the women's pack. When Nike do release women's colorways, they are a little bit more feminine, and I think these are actually really nice. So white sole plate, holographic design, with a bit of a diamond pen in the upper itself. Black laces, overall stunning. Now this is the same design on the Obra. As you can see, the swoosh is in the middle of the boot and not on the back. Black laces, white sole plate, pretty, pretty radical, isn't it? 
So this actually reminds me a lot of the Radiant Reveal colour we released last season with that rainbow effect by taking to an all new level because it is so much more bold but I think they are so unique. Now on to the Mercurial Superfly with that pretty much same design, diamond pattern with that holographic effect, Nike swoosh in the middle, white sole plate, nothing too different there. Now on to the Legend 6, I think the swoosh actually looks quite nice on that one. So I feel like if you were to hold these boots up to the light and turn them slightly and the colour change, I think that whole holographic design would look so cool. I don't actually think you can have that holographic effect on a leather boot because you just can't apply that effect on, it's only on synthetics, so on to the boot itself. So yeah, this is probably, I wouldn't wear this, would, would you? Do you know what, I don't think this looks like a football boot, but if you're talking about NFL cleats, I think this actually does yes. look very similar to some of those boots made for NFL, made by Nike. And I think to be fair, this is probably a colorway of those NFL players who are very bold and yeah, unique. Yeah, yeah. They'll probably wear this. Exactly, right. Now on to the next design. So this is another MX 2015, the sort of woman's colorway, isn't it? Yeah, it is a woman's colorway, and it's all about those exposed flywire cables. I think it just looks so sick. And as you said, the 2015 MX train was all about that gradient effect. We can see it from purple into blue, and this is class. So now onto the boots with the Hyvern Phantom 3. I really rate this design, what do you think? Yeah, I think again, this is probably a very good option for a women's pack. So Nike, if you're watching, maybe give it kind of a trainer inspired Air Max pack for your next ones. Yes, exactly. Now onto the Magista Obra, exactly the same design with that sort of darker blue on this side and lighter blue with that stripe in the middle. Overall, I think it's quite, it's quite nice. That's nice. I definitely wear it. Legend 6, pretty much the same with a bit more of a darker blue on the leather and a bit more lighter blue, less on this boot. Now on to the last one, the Vapor, you like this one? Yeah, I think this is quite nice with that navy blue at the back and then it transforms into a lighter tonal blue at the front. And I just think that grading design on the sole plate, we've said it so many times before, grading effects on the sole plate just take a boot to the next level in terms of aesthetics. Exactly, now look at the boot itself. I definitely would wear this. This is so nice. I mean, it's probably too soft for a football boot because it is that knitting material. Yeah. You know the fly knit boots out there, they've got that added bit of Nike skin on top. Yeah. This is just pure fly knit on top, so it would be a little bit too soft. Very comfortable, but durability and protection, yeah. so low. Definitely not really waterproof. Now on to our last one, which is the Air Max 90. Is this the shark print? Shark so this print was called print. the Warhawk pack. And these right. actually go for so much money. You're talking over $600 for these trainers because they're so limited edition. But it's all about those kind of shark teeth at the front, as you said. These are the Warhawks. A bit of a dodgy colorway, but in terms of design, they're so out there. Yeah, that pop of orange is like really the key feature to this boot, as well as the shark teeth. Now on to the Hyman Phantom 3. This is probably my favorite design of the whole video. What do you, you think? Do you know what? This Warhawk design on the full poop reminds me a little bit of the camo pack that Nike released. Yes. Just a little bit more bold. Yes, so we see the big fat orange swoosh in the middle of the boot as well as in the back but that is black orange laces with a sort of camo design like Matt said and the shark teeth with that chrome sole plate pretty pretty nice on to the Magista Obra pretty much the same design orange laces orange swoosh the standard swoosh is used on this design the Superfly would you wear it? I don't think I'll wear the Superfly, but looking back to that Magista, I think that was probably the nicest one we've seen so far. But to be fair, as a Superfly boot, if you're going to wear the Superfly, you're probably going to be a bold player. Yeah. And in that regard, you're probably going to like these boots too. Now on to the Tempo Legend 6. A big, bold orange swoosh there with orange laces. Nothing too different there. Now on to this boot. Now, this, is a, this is a funny one here. <laughs> Would you yes, <laughs> so the Air Max 90 on the Tiempo Legend 6. Again, it is leather. The Air Max 90 on that Warhawk were leather. So you're not really changing so much there, but it's all about the different layers on top, so it'll be slightly thicker. So the boot itself probably wouldn't be great for football. Definitely would be really bad in terms of durability, but NFL, American football, really, really good for that. So that is our five concepts for MX Day. Maddie, what do you think? So it's not a surprise that Nike have actually gone into their Air Max pack twice now, so for the Heritage pack and also for the Revolution pack. So don't be surprised if you see it happening yep. more on Nike and also Adidas trainers. We see it with the Ultra Boost. We've seen that Boost technology coming in. So don't be surprised if you see more trainer versions on Football Boost. Who knows where these brands are going to go next? You might actually see some of these customs coming out in the future. You never know. It was my yep. idea a couple of weeks ago. Nike have obviously just done it. So don't be surprised if you see more Nike-inspired trainers on their Football Boost. So that's it guys, please vote in the poll card now with your favourite of our 5MX concept designs. Thank you very much for watching, as always, we'll see you next time.